Yeah, you know, we have said over and over that some of the people most at risk of complications from COVID are people with underlying breathing conditions or with weakened immune systems, which makes one group of Americans uniquely vulnerable. The heroes of 9-11, tens of thousands of first responders and survivors have health issues from what they were exposed to that day. And quite a few now live right here in Florida where they feel increasingly at risk as our cases continue to climb. In the first 48 hours after 9-11, Jeff Conti never left Ground Zero. He was among the thousands of first responders and survivors breathing in the asbestos, the microscopic pieces of glass and other toxins from the debris. I had some trouble breathing and wound up finding out that I had a form of COPD and wound up having uh, asthma. Conti has since retired from the FDNY. He now lives at Apollo Beach and says he was warned other underlying health issues could follow later in life. Sure enough. Just as the pandemic broke out, I was diagnosed with throat cancer. With the exception of doctor's visits and chemo and radiation treatments, he's been locked down in his home for months. But with a son who works at a grocery store and a wife who will soon return to work as a teacher, he worries as COVID cases in the state continue to climb. Between the asthma and the cancer treatment, I am super high risk. Coming from a job where you put people before your yourself, I find it mind-boggling that People tend to be so selfish about this. I, I this putting on a mask is such a simple thing. Attorney Michael Barish represents thousands of 9-11 survivors and responders suffering underlying health issues, including 1,500 people right here in Florida. Well, the most common illnesses were asthma, COPD, then of course, 68 cancers have been linked. Those are the exact illnesses that the COVID-19 virus uh, make you most vulnerable. He worries for a community of people who've already endured so much. He hopes people fighting masks will think twice about people like Conti. You know, if these guys are there to protect us, we now have to protect them. He says already 10 of his clients here in Florida have died from COVID-19. There is something called the World Trade Center Health Program. It's from the federal government. They provide screenings and treatments specifically for these 9-11 responders and survivors. Of the nearly 100,000 who are enrolled, about half have what the government has classified as a 9-11 related illness.